<laughs> What's going on, guys? How y'all doing tonight? Southern guy here. And this is the WWE Monday Night Raw review for your Monday. Where we just saw Raw go off the air. With the returning build of the one and only Goldberg. 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 Yes, that's, that's right. Goldberg returned at the last part of Monday Night Raw tonight. The final hour of Monday Night Raw. We've seen Goldberg talk. We've seen him say, you're last. You're not only last, but you're next. We're going to see Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar, guys. Y'all been waiting for that? Did y'all want to see that rematch from WrestleMania 20? 20? Well, guess what? It's going to happen. Goldberg accepted the, the challenge that was laid down by Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar. It was accepted. 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 Accepted tonight. Goldberg came out. Had his intro. Got to see the pyro. See a blood smoke. And he came out. And he talked a little bit about his. About how long it's been. A, been since he's been in WWE. Uh, but he's been waiting a long time for this. He promoted WWE 2K17. All around, all around the world. All around the world. And then he talked about. He got the call. To promote the game. And he. Got to borrow the call back to go to cut back of WWE when he was on Sports Center. So we got Goldberg back, guys. It's been a long time coming. He's scheduled for more dates for WWE. As I stated, if you didn't see my video I did this afternoon, go check it out on YouTube.com, which is my channel, Southern Guy 175. If you haven't forgot, go check it out my video I did today about Goldberg. I got two reviews on that video already. Go check out the Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar for Survivor Series. And yes, I, that match is going to take place, I do believe, at Survivor Series. We're going to see the one-off match between Brock Lesnar and Goldberg. Because Goldberg accepted tonight. Accepted the challenge from Brock Lesnar. <laughs> now he's getting in shape. He said, I'm not in shape, but i got to get in shape. Goldberg looks in pretty good shape to me. Didn't he not look in the shape to you? If you're watching Buddy at Raw tonight, he still looks in good shape. I believe he could he could still go against Brock Lesnar. But it's going to be an interesting, interesting match. That match takes place at Survivor Series. Also, Raw, um, also Raw's commissioner, Stephanie McMahon, accepted the 5 on 5 Survivor Series matches. And the women's 5 on 5 Survivor Series. Series back. So she accepted Shane, her brother Shane McMahon's uh, Survivor Series challenge for Survivor Series. So we're going to get to see those Survivor Series matches in November. I cannot wait for Raw versus SmackDown in November at Survivor Series. And I'm pulling for SmackDown to win. But I don't know if they'll win. But I'm pulling for SmackDown. Because SmackDown's like the A show, man. SmackDown is the show. And I'm hoping, yeah, that we're going to see, you know, SmackDown beat Raw, beat Raw, but Raw, SmackDown don't have a lot of superstars like Raw does, but I don't know. We'll have to find out in November, see what happens, and see by November who I'm going to go with for the Raw versus SmackDown for Survivor Series. But tonight's Raw, some matches I didn't care for tonight, some matches I did. They didn't have no Sasha Banks versus Charlotte meeting tonight face to face, but they did do interviews with Lita tonight and typing up their Hell in a Cell match for the women's championship. But along the line, we saw interviews with Lita. Uh, Charlotte gave her opinion on what's going to happen at Hell in a Cell. And then Sasha Banks gave her opinion that she was going to win because it's in her hometown. And stuff. She was going to bear Charlotte at her hotel. I don't know who's going to win that match. I'll give my prediction on that match. Uh, well, not, well, next week. Or so. But We also got a match made for next week's Raw. Triple threat match. Chris Jericho. Versus Kevin Owens. Versus Seth Rollins. I'll have my opinion on that match too. 
of who I think's gonna win. And I'll do a video on that. Who I think Kevin Owens is gonna win or not. But I see a little encounter between Jericho and Kevin Owens. They had a little conflict tonight. Could they be? Could they might break up? Could Jericho very well be? Uh, not watching this back for very much longer. I don't know what we'll see. I think Jericho should be in a hell of a sell back match, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But, um, but we're going to see a triple threat match next week, next Monday, between Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, and Chris Jericho. Also, next Monday, the return of Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar will be uh, on Raw to talk about. Goldberg accepting his challenge for a uh, match. So I'm going to have Brock on the next Monday. But, um, but we're going to see one, we're going to see more of Goldberg too as well on Raw. But we're also going to see before Survivor Series, we're going to see a, for the last Raw for Survivor Series, we're going to see a face to face between Brock Lesnar and Goldberg going to beat face to face on Raw. But um, we got some interesting stuff to talk about. Uh, this is the Raw Review. If you didn't forget who I am, you know who I am. So, Southern Guy 175 on YouTube.com. Please hit that subscribe button and subscribe to me, Southern Guy 175 on YouTube.com. One of the best shows on here on YouTube.com. That was a nice little rap for me. I made that up myself. That's my thing. Nobody try to steal that from me. I will find you. But, no, nah, I'm just kidding. But, don't steal my catchphrase. That's my phrase. New catchphrase. You can follow me. Subscribe to me. Southern Guy. World 75. On YouTube.com. That's a cool little thing for my animal use for now on. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Oh, always. Uh, Southern, uh, Danny Parker 27 at Danny Parker it's at Danny Parker 27 on Twitter don't forget to hit that Twitter and follow me as well hit that Twitter button if you're on Twitter follow me at Danny Parker 27 on Twitter and remember don't forget to subscribe to the channel at Southern Guy 175 on YouTube.com remember subscribe to me I'm one of the best around here on YouTube, some with the likes of some of the others. I have a great channel. I do great things on here. I try to try to come up with new great things over here, as always. As I as I promised, I still got stuff coming. I may introduce a little character interaction. I have a character that you don't know about. You may have know about him. You may know about him. You've seen him before. He is the great and one and only Nerd Boy. My alter ego, the great and only Nerd Boy. He will be returning to the channel at some point. I don't know when. I don't know when, when Nerd Boy is coming back. He may come back at some point. Who knows? But this is not Nerd Boy's channel. This is the Southern Guy channel. 175 on YouTube.com. Like I said... Don't forget to hit that subscribe button hard as you can. Subscribe to me. I do great things here. I'm sorry I've been I've been away for a couple of days on the, over the weekend. Had to take a break during uh, a little mini vacation, but I'm back. And regroup and refocus and ready to bring you the best content around. The best WWE news. The best. The best. The best of the best reviews you could see. Right here on YouTube.com. But um, we got a lot of stuff going, guys. We're going to have a lot of stuff kicking. I may even include some WWE content. I got WWE 2K17. I may even, like a, like a lot of the other people, I may even include some content of my character on WWE, on right here on YouTube. But we're going to get this Raw review going. It's not going to take, it's not going to take long. But uh, like I said, remember don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Daddy Parker Twenty Seven, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel on at Southern Guy One Seventy Five or YouTube dot com. Well, guess what, guys? Goldberg's back. Goldberg accepts Brock Lesnar's challenge that I t just talked about. Oh yes, oh yes, it happens after twelve years of absence for the WWE. 
Goldberg returned to Raw to answer Paul Heyman's challenge on behalf of Brock Lesnar with a resounding to the point, yes. Goldberg said yes to the challenge. Given free reign to speak his mind, closing moments for the former World Heavyweight Champion admitted that Sports Center interview, and, and he all and he was more than willing to stay retired until Heyman's trash talk clubs all th uh, fired all things considered. Goldberg said he has definitely got one more spear and one more jackhammer and one more fight left in him. He accepted Heyman's challenge to be answered by Brock Lesnar live on next week's Raw and signed off with emotion vibes on his signature war cry. Strictly the Beast Incarnate, you're next. Goldberg steps Brock Lesnar's challenge. He said, you're next. <laughs> Alright, let's get on with the other stuff. Brian Kendrick, Tony Nese, and Drew Gawker defeated WWE Cruiserweight Champion TJ Perkins and Cedric Alexander and Wick Swan. Brian Kendrick got the tap out. On, um, he made um, got the captain's hook. Real and Swan, Rick Swan, Rick Swan. He made uh, Brian Kendrick made Rick Swan tap out to pick up the win for his team with the captain hook. Brian Kendrick and T, uh, Drew Gawker. And Tony Nese defeated T.J. Perkins, Tragic Alexander, and Rick Swan. Big Cash defeated Carl Anderson, as always with his move. The East River Crossing. United States Champion Rusev. United States Champion Roman Reigns confronted Rusev. Rufus Rusev beat down Roman Reigns. Stood out, slamming him on the steps and then making them submit to the accolade. Bo Dallas defeated Neville after the match. Bo Dallas attacked Curtis, best friend Curtis Axel, beating him down on the outside. Uh, Braun Strowman defeated the Mao Hu Hu Trio. I don't know who these people are. Braun Strowman defeated the Mao Ha Trio. Whoever the hell they are. Dana Brooke defeated Bailey tonight. Raw Tag Team Champions, Big E, Raw Tag Team Champion, Champion Big E defeated Sheamus while Cesaro looked on and doing Facebook Live. Their team are not getting along. That team is not getting along, guys. I don't know what's going on between Sheamus and, uh, Sheamus and Cesaro, but they need to get their heads on. So they're planning on competing against Big E and Kofi Hinkson for the Tag Team Titles at Hell in a Cell. But I believe that Drew, uh, we still will, um, let's get on with the next one. Mark Henry and the Golden Truth defeat Titus O'Deal and the Shining Stars, or should I say, started, Shining Loser. Seth Rollins defeated Chris Jericho tonight. And that's going to wrap it up, pretty much wrap it up, guys. See, it was so easy. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and we saw Goldberg return at the last part of the show, accepted Brock Lesnar's challenge. He said, I got one more spear, I got one more jackhammer, and he says, you're next, Brock Lesnar. I hope y'all enjoyed this WWE Raw review for tonight, tonight where we saw the return of Goldberg and more. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel at Southern Guy 175 on YouTube.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Daddy Parker 27. As always, I hope y'all enjoy this Monday Night Raw review. Tomorrow is SmackDown Live. As always, I will have a SmackDown Live review as always tomorrow night. We're going to see James Ellsworth versus AJ Styles for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, so much more. I'll have a SmackDown live review tomorrow night. Immediately follow SmackDown at the 9 o'clock hour. 
for SmackDown Live. So don't forget to subscribe, follow me. Hope you have a great Monday, rest of your Monday night. And I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe and follow, as always. Have a great night, guys. I'll talk to you later.